Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to learn how to sync Google Sheets to Google Contacts. Now in this video we are going to connect both these applications in such a way that every time a new row is added with the contact details in Google Sheets, then if it is an existing one, then it will be updated in your Google Contacts, otherwise a new contact will be created. So you can create a complete automation with the help of Fably Connect for this process where our trigger will be the new row added in Google Sheet and our action will be to create or update contacts in Google Contacts. Let us learn how to do that. So let us learn that how you can sync your Google Sheet and Google Contacts in such a way that every time a new contact is added over here then that new contact will be created in your Google Contacts as well and if any existing contact is updated with any new information or the existing information then that work will also be done in your Google Contacts. Here we are taking example of this contact we already have in our Google Contacts called test user. If you open this contact you will be able to see the phone number and the email address of this person and the name is test user. We have the same details as the name, the phone number and the email address. Now we are going to update the address field over here and sync both of these applications in such a way that by just entering the details here in the address field, that address field will also be added over here. And we will also in the end of this video create a new contact so that a creation of new contact will also be done over here in your Google Contacts. Let us quickly sign in into our account so that I will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli and we are going to use Pabli Connect to create this automation. Click on access now. That will take me to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here you can see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as sync Google Sheets and Google Contacts. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on your screen. You will be able to see two major modules of Pabli Connect called trigger and action in front of you on which the whole automation runs. Before that, I would like to remind you to open the applications that are supposed to be integrated through this workflow that is your Google Sheet and Google Contacts. These are the two applications we are going to integrate. Now the reason behind this is that it will be easy for you to connect it to Pabli Connect, connection of Google Sheets and Google Contacts to Pabli Connect and also to make the required changes for this workflow over here. So let us begin with trigger and action. Trigger like you can see says when this happens and action says do this which means that the trigger application is going which means that the trigger application is the first application where the event will take place and when that happens then it will trigger the workflow. The workflow starts running and the action application will perform the assigned action. Like here trigger is Google Sheet. Why Google Sheets? Because as soon as the data over here is newly created or updated then it will re receive a response over here in your workflow. Alright and that will trigger the workflow making sure that the action application which is going to be Google Contacts will create or update a contact. So the process is not simple as it appears to be because in order to update the contact we need to make sure that the contact entered over here exists or not. For example if the existing contact is entered over here like we have this contact which is already existing then first we need to make sure that it is there in the contacts or not. Let us begin with the workflow. The trigger event is going to be new or updated spreadsheet row. These are the spreadsheet rows like, like you can see the horizontal ones and whenever a new row is created or the existing one is updated then it will trigger. So we have chosen the trigger event perfectly correct. Now we are provided a webhook URL by Pabli Connect. This webhook URL is basically a bridge between the trigger application and our software which is Pabli Connect. So here Google Sheet and Pabli Connect will be connected in such a way that we are going to send this webhook URL over here in our Google Sheet extensions. And then every time a new data is entered or existing data is updated, this webhook URL will bring all the data over here as a webhook response. So we can use that data for the further making of this workflow. So let us begin. These are the instructions given to you. You have to follow these instructions in order to use this webhook URL. First of all, you have to make sure that you have entered details in your field because the end of this webhook URL integration will have sending of data to your workflow. So I'm going to enter the address details over here. So I have updated the address fields over here. Now come to your workflow and copy this webhook URL from here. Go back to your Google Sheet, find extensions in the menu and you have to install an add-on. Go to add add-ons and get add-ons. It will take you to the Google Workplace Marketplace. Now here you have to type Pabli Connect Webhooks 
and this is the add-on that you have to install like you can see i have already got it installed once you're done with this installation you will find it in the extensions menu only go to public connect webbooks and click on initial setup now a dialog box will appear where you have to enter details details like webhook url and trigger column so we are going to paste the webhook url we copied from our workflow and then the trigger column is the last updated column which means that when this webhook url is supposed to fetch the data from this spreadsheet then which is the last column till where the data has to be captured so here we have column f as our last updated column so i'm going to put over here f and click on submit so that these details are saved you can see setup configured successfully now simply click on send test and this data which is in the field recent data will be sent over here and see we have received a response after you have received the response close this dialog box and one very important thing to do is go back to extensions and public connect webhooks and check mark this send on event now this send on event will make sure that every new row added or updated row which is the event which is the trigger event will make sure that this response is sent over here you can see we have the trigger column name the spreadsheet name which is customer contacts and then here we have the phone number the first and last name the email address and the addresses so we have all the data that we have entered over there in our spreadsheet so now close this window now we will move on to action application which is google contacts now there are two things we are supposed to do update the existing contact and create a new contact if there is no contact existing with the same information so first we will search for the data so let us choose the event over here as search all right so we have over here a contact which is existing or non existing we are going to decide on this basis click on connect now google contact is a google application click on add new connection select your google account and connect choose your account and click on allow and your connection will be done now since it is connected it will ask you for a search value which means that you have to enter a value of the contact by which you want to search that specific contact now the name can be repetitive all right the email and phone number is something which is unique address can also be the same one right but phone number and email address are something which is new or unique so i'm going to use email address over here i will map the email address now what is mapping mapping is basically inserting data from the previous step which is our previous step it is google sheets so you will use this drop down menu to find the response and map that one now mapping is important because every time a new data is used or received in the trigger response then that will be replacing this existing data over here that is why we are not typing over here if you type it it is going to be static now click on save and send test request and now google contacts will bring an existing contact with the same email address we have the response over here you can see see the name is over here the contact is here the phone number is here and we have the sufficient details that are existing in the google contacts for this specific email address now one note that you need to pay attention is that you have to use this data which is response to results so we are going to map the data which is in response to over here and this is the contact id this is very important because it is the unique identity of our contact now this proves an id proves that the contact is existing so now we are going to use a feature by pabli which is called router click on this plus button and here you will find router directly or you can type it over here as well router is basically as the name suggest gives us multiple ways to perform any action like here we have two ways like if the contact is not existing then create one and if it existing then update the existing one so first of all i'm going to rename it so the first one's name is existing exist it is all, all right so this router is for the contacts that already exist and the second one is does not exist all right so the second one second router is for the contacts that they that do not exist over here so open this filter and action step here we will put a filter for the contacts so the filter is filter is again a feature by pabli which comes under router and can be used separately as well so what filter does is it allows the action application to perform the assigned action only if the condition that we set over here is satisfied like i said that identity of a contact is a very important thing it is a proof that the contact exists so i'm going to map it over here 
choose the result to option and this is the id of the contact which is existing selected now it should exist it cannot be equal to anything because every new contact that will be arriving will have a unique id so here this result id is basically the one that should exist if it exists click on save and send test request then the contact is existing and when it exists then the action will be different which is updating the contact so the filter will only allow see here it shows success because the contact we are right now discussing or right now we are creating the workflow for the contact already exist so it is success close this filter module and here we will choose again google contacts because this is the final destination for the existing contacts and here the event is going to be update contact click on connect add new connection or select existing connection because we are using google contacts over here in this workflow for the second time keep it on select existing connection and click on save your connection will be done now it will be very clear to you to understand that whenever the filter will allow the existing contact it will see that the id exists which means the contact has to be updated and on the opposite what we are going to do for does not exist that this id should not exist which means that the contact is new it does not exist and therefore it will be created open this module and fill up the details now a name has appeared automatically so i'm going to map activate the map button and here i will map the id of that person that we have received from our google contacts so this is the id like i said for people slash c so i'm going to map the result to id if you mention the note we read over there and i will map the resource name so that it takes us directly to this contact which has to be updated we have also received the contact e tag over here so i'm going to map activate the map button and i will map this e tag from here see this is the e tag or you can take the e tag from result 2 as i mentioned that result 2 one is important we have mapped the e tag also now all the fields that are supposed to be updated has to be entered over here so what i'm going to do is map everything like copy paste everything but i will erase the ones that are not here in our data so we don't have biographies birthdays cover photos gender interest we do not have these all right we don't have these we have names but we do not have nicknames it is this one as well occupation organization other things are not here so we only have the name and phone number and email address and address so these fields are to be updated make sure you enter this field now email address enter in the value so map the email address again from the google sheets only because that is the new updated data display name is important to be filled because that is the name will come in the display so i'm going to map the full name again from google sheets only test give a space and map user this is the display name now family name is mostly called as last name so i'm going to map that as well and given name over here is test okay now we do not have a middle name we have address so you can type in the formatted value of the address because we have to update that one map this put a comma and the rest of the address can be filled over here like this scroll down again and then you will find birthday month we do not have the birthday gender now we do not we cannot decide gender you can have contacts of any gender so i will activate the map button and erase this part so that the gender of any person is not mentioned like this phone number so in values we will map the phone number from here this is the phone number of our person scroll down and look for any other details if you have you do not have any other detail we have mapped or everything correctly click on save and send test request now we have received a response which has the resource name of our person the e tag of the person and other details now the response says that yes the contact has been updated let us go to our google contacts and refresh this contact and yes we have the address updated over here you notice that earlier it did not have the address only email address name and contact number was here now we have the address of the person and this way in a similar way you can add other details of the person as well so whenever a new data will be added or the existing data will be updated then that change will also take place in your google contacts so let us close this one because it is saved and proceed with the does not exist step as well now click on set filter and action step and here we have to again give a filter so the filter here is again for the id of the contact which is having people over here and this is the result to person 
so here we are mapping again the id of the existing contact which should not exist because if that does not exist which means that the contact is not there in our list and we have to create the contact click on save and send test request and it will say it is an error see the status is error and the condition is false which means in the given situation that we are creating the workflow for we do not have this situation satisfied but still for the next contact that we will be adding will be a new contact and that is why that contact will be created close this module click on the plus button and choose your action application is google contacts because this time we are going to create a contact action event is going to be create contact because the filter says that the contact does not exist click on connect and select existing connection click on save and your connection will be done once it is done you have to fill in the fields it's just that you do not have to map the id of the person and the e tag of the person here because this time the contact is new so the email address display or value yes in the value we have to map it so i will take the value from the google sheet only we are going to take all the details from google sheets because in this case we have the new contact being created display name take it again the same name you have to map it is going to be test space last name this is the display name i will map the other details as the family name given name over here like this scroll down and enter the address as well comma and the rest of the values of the address with commas you can read the help text given over here separated by commas as you are supposed to enter scroll down and then you will find birthday we do not have again activate the gender map button and erase the gender scroll down and map the phone number as well you want you can add plus 191 or the country code in front of it it's as per your requirement now nothing else is there we have the sufficient data and we have mapped the sufficient data scroll down and click on save over here now once you save this step it makes it clear that we are not going to click on save and send test request why because the contact already exists for the given case we are saving this step so that whenever a new contact arises in our google sheet list and it is a new one it does not have any value which matches the existing contact over here then it will be easy for this workflow to create a contact if you click on save and send test request it will create an existing contact or give the response of a duplicate contact all right so we have saved this step and now we will close this one since we have saved this see both of them have one step which we have set make sure that router is your last step see there is no plus button after this because router is usually the last step of your workflow so our workflow is complete this is how it looks let us add one new detail over here in our google spreadsheet so that we can check our workflow runs or not I have entered data with the first name last name phone number and email address and the address now comes the trigger column i will click on this button and add details of the last updated column and as soon as i put press enter after it then the workflow will start running because i am on my trigger column this is how it runs and let us see that yes it will run a contact will be searched over here if it does not exist then which router will work the does not exist one and it does, it will not find any id of the person let us go to google contacts and here let us refresh and we will find the list here see the name is here the email address is here and the contact is here you open it and you will find the same address that we entered in our google sheet just some seconds ago so this is how it is going to work if it exists it will be updated and if it does not exist then it will be created so this was the whole workflow i hope this helped not just these applications but you can integrate many other applications using pably connect if you have any issue regarding pably you can email us at support@pably.com you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com and if you have any doubts regarding our pricing then you can connect us through this given website if you found this video helpful in any way then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations we will meet in the next video till then do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel thank you